Ahead to an event that is uh, quickly becoming one of the uh, big events around town. It is the Toast and Taste at the Buena Vista Edible Schoolyard. And joining us to talk more about the event, Dylan Wilson with the Edible Schoolyard. What's going on, Dylan? How's it going, Alex? Thanks going, for having us. Yeah, look, this is, you guys have been doing this for several years. This is quickly becoming a popular event. It is one of those things where people talk about it before, after, and then like halfway through the year, they're like, wait, when is when do tickets for next year go on sale? So it's a big, big popular event and it is coming up next week. Talk a little bit about yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. This it really is, I hear about it through town, even yeah. through other conversations and people are talking about it. It has really good buzz to it, but it's the, the Toast to Taste is, is a community event where we have um, wonderful food in our garden at the Edible Schoolyard where we're able to showcase recipes from um, that are coming out of our garden, working with wonderful chefs throughout the country uh, to create an experience yeah. unlike anything else. There's a number of food stations through our Edible Schoolyard garden. Um, each one has a wine or beer pairing that's uh, sourced locally. So we're really excited to see people there. This is a fun event, obviously, but there is an educational aspect to there it. Is. And there's a reason why you're doing this event to promote uh, what you guys do at the Edible Schoolyard. Talk a little bit about what you're doing there. Um, I, I have to say it is it is phenomenal. I mean, you know, I've been out there with you many times. Absolutely. It is such a great thing to have here in our community. Uh, but it's all about educating our youth and educating families. Talk a little bit about what you're doing, what this, this goal is here. Absolutely. So the Edible Schoolyard Kern County, which is a program of the Grimm Family Education Foundation, is there to inspire students and children of all ages to have a healthy relationship with food. We want to create healthy eaters, and by doing so, we provide experiential learning to them in our gardens and in our kitchens where they are hands-on. Our program at Buena Vista is dedicated to kindergarten through sixth grade, working with Buena Vista Elementary, and each one of those students has an experiential component as a part of their school day. What have you found, because I know, you, you know you've been with them for, for many years, what have you found though as you talk to these kids and you, you show them, hey, this is where your food comes from, what is it like for them to see that experience? Because I think a lot of people think eating healthy is boring, right. it's bland, mm -hmm. and it's just like, I don't, I don't want to do this. What is your experience with that? Well, it's a beautiful process because when we get to work with students as young as kindergarten, yeah. first grade, we see light bulb moments for even them. Um, they're recognizing that their food is coming out of the ground and yeah. it's getting to be prepared and they're tasting recipes and they're creating recipes with their peers and they're eating it. But then the, the most amazing process is when we hear from parents Oh, yeah. I had to go to the grocery store today and buy kale because my child wanted that for dinner tonight. What do I do with kale? So then we get to engage with the parents. That's so cool. Creating a change in eating habits. So again, to help fund, of course, uh, everything that's happening at the Edible Schoolyard, you've got this toast and taste event. Yep. It is happening Friday. Yep, next Friday, October next Friday, 18th. Yes. Next Friday, October 18th, tickets are on sale up until Thursday the 17th. Okay, so they're still on sale. They're still on sale, and you can find tickets on our website, uh, www.esykerncounty.org. Go to our events tab. Um, we're going to be bringing in Chef Eric Dandy this year. Um, oh, okay. And we'll have music by the Truxton Mile. They're coming back for a... Uh, for another gig. They're great. Also, I think the weather forecast is supposed to be like perfect. It's going to be so. Beautiful. I think it's going to be a great fall night, great event. Dylan, good to see you. Thank you, Alex. All right. Uh